Welcome back to Fighting Irish Extra, your fix for all Notre Dame Olympic sports. I'm Stephanie Rice. We start off right here in the Purcell Pavilion, where the women's basketball team kicked off a successful weekend. On Friday, the Irish knocked off the Penn Quakers 69-38. to Devereaux Peters scored 16 points, Natalie Novosel scored 14, and Kayla McBride scored 10. Notre Dame forced 19 turnovers and out-rebounded the Quakers 49-34. to On Sunday, the Irish were back in action in Omaha, where they ousted the Creighton Blue Jays 76 to 48. Sophomore Natalie Achanla scored a career high 20 points to lead three Notre Dame players in double figures. The team shot 55% from the court, while the Jays shot just 37%. The team improves to 7 and 1 for the year. But it was a rough weekend for Notre Dame's other basketball team. Despite a valiant comeback, the men fell to Maryland 78 to 71. The team closed the gap at 74-71 with 12 seconds to go, but couldn't ultimately seal the deal. Jaron Grant scored 20 points to lead the Irish in the BB&T Classic, while Eric Atkins added 16. The team is now 5-4 and four after starting 4-0. Four and zero. Over in the Compton Family Ice Arena, the Irish hockey team struggled, dropping a weekend series to the Northeastern Huskies. The hockey team was a bit off on Friday as the Irish lost 9-2 with goals by TJ Tynan and Nick Larson. It was the first loss for the team at the Compton, breaking a five home game winning streak. The nine goals were the most ever surrendered under a Jeff Jackson team in South Bend. Wasn't very fond of the effort, you know, but I have to take responsibility. You know, I didn't have these guys ready to play tonight. You know, I knew Northeastern was going to be a good team and they're just starting to come into their own under their new coach. The bad luck continued on Saturday when Notre Dame fell 2-1, to one, the third straight loss for the Irish. Prior to this weekend, the number two ranked team had not lost in 11 straight games. The Irish outshot the Huskies 23-15, to 15, but Riley Shahan scored the lone goal for Notre Dame in the second period. The team is now 10-5-3 overall and 7-2-3 in the CCHA. Um, I just, we can't panic too much. I mean, that's... Uh, we're on a little bit of a losing streak, but we got to come back and practice hard and um, stay positive and enthusiastic. Uh, we're a close-knit team, and I don't think we should let this affect us, and I don't think we're going to. So, Well, we have a busy week coming up right here on UND.com. Wednesday brings women's basketball, and Thursday brings men's basketball on ESPN3. Friday, we have a live broadcast from the Football Awards Show, and on Saturday, we have more men's basketball on ESPN3 and some hockey right here on UND.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Notre Dame Athletics and to follow us on Twitter at UND underscore com. For Fighting Irish Extra, I'm Stephanie Rice. See you next week. Go Irish!